guys, welcome back to my my channel, and this is chapter ten of the mysteries of the universe. Okay. Neptune. What is this? Neptune. Mm. What is it, this called? Like that? This part, this yeah. circle part, that's the great dark spot. Oh yeah. Similar to Jupiter's, but small. Right. Look at this big. It is. Which one is bigger, Uranus or Neptune? Uranus. Uranus? Yeah, they are about the same size if we compare this part and mm -hmm. this part mm -hmm. here. Wow. So Uranus is bigger than ne Neptune. Like a little bit. You can see it's a little bit bigger. Right. Dark vortexes and bright clouds sometimes appear in Neptune's deep blue atmosphere. Uh huh. It's difficult to imagine just how far away from the sun the planet Neptune is. Yeah, Neptune is so far. Mm -hmm. It's farther than its eight planets, than its seven planetary neighbors. What? Neptune is the farthest planet away from the sun. Mm -hmm. because, because that's the one that's closer to, or the closest to Pluto. Used to be part of the solar system. Pluto? Used to uh, be nine. a planet, but not anymore. Not, what happened to Pluto? Uh, I don't know, but he he became. It's a little bit weird because you might think, yeah, Pluto was a planet, but not anymore. Because because Pluto is already so small, it could small to be a planet. So what is it called now? It's smaller than the moon. Mm -hmm. Now it shrank a little bit. So what is it called now? Part a dwarf planet. It's a dwarf. But did you know? There's another planet that's the twin of Neptune uh -huh. in our solar system. There, there is a twin of Neptune in our solar system. What is system. the name? Planet Nine or no. Planet X. Is that part of the Exos planet? No, but it's orbiting the sun too. Oh. It's a it's a leftover hypothetical planet. What? It's a twin of Neptune. Uh huh. But is it closer to the sun or far? Far. Far. Farther than Neptune's orbit. Really? It's difficult to imagine just how far away the sun, the planet Neptune is. It's about 2.8 billion miles or 4.5 billion miles kilometers away. Which means that if you could drive at 50 miles, 80 kilometers per hour through space, it would take more than you than six thousand real years to reach it oh it's gonna take a while huh <coughs> excuse me at its enormous distance it takes neptune 164 earth years to go all the way around the sun once wow that's kind of far cruel huh right fierce winds whip through the planet's thick atmosphere which is made up of hydrogen and helium Along with other gases like methane, the tremendous temperatures and pressures inside make Neptune make think something. Scientists think that diamonds could be forming and swirling the planet's hidden depths. Imagine rain of diamonds. Yeah. Because on Jupiter wow. and Saturn, there could be diamonds, but they're raining from the sun. Wow. So, so even if you get diamonds, you're going to die, right? Because it's raining diamonds. Why? Right? It's gonna hit on your head. It's gonna drop on your head and hit you. But they, did you know Neptune is also not a gas giant? It's an ice giant. It too. is, right. Wow. Neptune is a little bit bigger than Earth. Mm -hmm. It's big, biggie, yeah. biggie, big, what else? big. This, this is Triton. What is Triton? Neptune's moon. Oh, yeah. The Kuiper Belt, look at this. Yeah. Now we're going to do chapter 11, the Kuiper Belt. Okay, say or goodbye Pluto. to your friends. Or, I think Pluto. Pluto, we'll do Pluto, chapter 11. Uh, yeah. Or say. Bye, Pluto. bye, welcome back to my... Bye, and subscribe, and share my videos. Bye, bye, bye.